it out, man. This alchemist. The guard right don't here. pee, don't pee right here, you know what I'm saying? And don't be scared to get shitty, man. You know what I'm saying? UGTV is going down. It's good, y'all. This is Music Soul Channel right now. You are checking out Urban Grind TV. What up, man? This is Ludacris, and right now you are watching UGTV. Shannon, and it's the Teflon Don Ricky Rouse. Right now, you rocking with Urban Grind TV. It's going down. Block, block, man. Block, belly, install. 10 by 10 minutes. UGTV don't go nowhere. Yo, what's up? It's Eric Summer, the Green Light Bandit in Chi Town. UGTV, you know how I do all day. Represent that. You know what time it is. Hey, Joel Santana, and right now, you checking out Urban Grind TV. Dipset for life, Skull Gang, Fab, and Slow Bucks. Keep up. Ooh. What's up, it's the Patty Kick Man, and you are watching UGTV right here. It's Big Snoop Dogg, Urban Grind TV, you understand me? Urban Grind TV, Face Mob in the building. I'll let your motherfucking boy. It's Killer Cam, King Joffy Joe, Space and Spark. It's a late night, you watching Urban Grind TV, you know what it is, good set, you win. Yo, check it out, y'all, what's the dead? It's Ray Corner Chef, and you doing it big right now on Urban Grind TV. What's good, Master God? You know what it is, you watching UGTV. Yo, what's up? It's DA to the Z, Urban Grind. You know what I mean? Television, keeping y'all updated. Get on the log, log in, email us, holler back. It's DA to the Z right here, Chicago, baby. Yo, yo, what's up, man? It's your boy, DJ Three Stacks, and you are here with Urban Grime TV, and I'm here with our guest today, Mr. Omar, director, but I'm going to let him tell y'all a little bit about himself, because he can tell you better than I can. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> I try. I don't even know, honestly, I don't even know why I'm here. My partner over there, Jay, was like, come with me to this show. So we got a um, couple of shows on Tubi, Creative Hustle, EDYH. I'm the director of those shows. He set me up. He said it was going to be a pretty girl sitting there interviewing me. No offense to you, but now I got a dude standing right here. I don't know what the hell is going on. <laughs> so I'm, I'm you know, that's what I do. I'm here for be with some nice young lady interviewing me about our TV shows. And then he got the girl, and then they just left me with you and said, hey, what you do? Hey, man, well, it is Urban Grind, man. You know, this thing, we ain't be the interview. So we going we gonna to make it happen as long as we get you here. <laughs> so, yeah, hey, we got you here now. So, you know what I mean? Like, Thanks, shout out to Mr. Davis, man, for getting on my heels. So, guess what? You got to tell us about you now, man. We got you now. Ain't no getting away from this. You know what I mean? So, talk to us, man. So, how did you end up hooking up with Mr. Davis, man, and making y'all class happen with the movies and everything? He used to sexually harass me when I was, um... <laughs> God damn it, Jay, da come on, man. No, I met Jay, like, seven, eight years ago. He mm -hmm. was making films. He needed a place to work in my studio, so he came to my recording studio. Okay. I let him use that. We started collaborating. Um, just let him use my space and all that. Then when the pandemic hit, he um, shut down for a while. So we started working on animation. I did animation for him like that. Mm -hmm. And then wow. I said, I'm going to get into horror movies. He's like, hey, we can work on that together. So I started working directing horror movies. And then eventually we started working on comedy together, so we do comedy and horror movies now. Wow, well, it sounds like y'all got the Hollywood thing down pat. Y'all ready to take off. Y'all got the horror, the comedy, the sexual harassment. Sounds like, sounds just like Hollywood to me, man. <laughs> oh, definitely can't forget the drugs, man. Yeah, so outside of the music and everything, I mean, outside of the directing and everything, you know, with the moves and everything, man, what other things do you do, man, that like we may not know besides the drugs and, the, you know, the sexual harassment and everything? You know what I mean, what else we, you know, that we need to know about? You know, you as far as, you know, getting it in, getting it done, man. I own a high school. And that's actually the truth. I'm not lying this time. You own a high school? <laughs> yeah, I do. Well, look, I'm glad. And you know what? That's a beautiful thing you told that, Miss. Because I got my G. I got a GED, man. I need a real diploma because they ain't taking me serious, man. So how can I enroll in? Yo, I want to be the first 40 plus high school graduate, man. That's going to be a little tricky, man, but <laughs> you come see me on Monday, I'll figure it out. But no, I am a founder, shout out to my partner, um, LaShawn Jackson, yeah. founder of Circle Foundation. We have been together for 15 years now, and we have a high school downtown, Innovations High School. We have a job placement program, recording studio, fitness center, youth and mentoring program, wow. so that's what we do across the city. Hey, hey, shout out to you for that, man, because, like, a lot of people leave out, you know, they throw the education, but the biggest thing is job placement. You know what I mean? A lot of people go out here and get the education, but they don't know what to do with it afterwards, man. So big shout out to you, man. So is that something that you came up with, with your team or is something that, you know, just, you know, y'all just say, look, make it happen. 
Well, my partner and I came up with that back in college. We um we from the city from Chicago. We got in trouble. We got in, you know gangs all that yeah. kind of stuff. So we got the college. We said when we get out of here, we're gonna do something for the community. Was it Kennedy King? <laughs> no. <laughs> Thank great. <laughs> No, we went to SIU in Carbondale. So shout out okay. to Carbondale. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to the Salukis, man. That's right, that's right. So we were there, we wanted to get something, do something to get back. So we got back here, we got back together, worked out a way to do it, and we've been doing that for 15 years. Wow, 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 man. So besides the education, besides the director, man, is there anything else you can surprise with? Don't give us too much more, because don't forget, you got a radio interview coming up, man. You know what I mean? So what else you got going on, you know what I mean, that we could dive in? I do taxes. I'm lying about that. Oh man, I was just say you do taxes. Like we need to cut this camera off. You know what I mean? Like them PPPs were smacking. Right. Oh, that's it. I don't do nothing else, man. That's it. Let's take up all my time. All day, I'm at the school. All night, I'm on set. So I got a family. They sometimes get some time. Well, I mean, hey, hey! Shout out to the family, man. Shout out to my wife because she's gonna kill me when she see this. Oh yeah, you definitely. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I'll just make sure you got it on. Yeah. yeah. So. How can our followers, man, follow you, man, continue to, you know, know what you got going on and just be part of your fan base? Um, what is my Instagram? BLE underscore cinema, and that's my Instagram. I don't even have a Facebook. Um, that's it. Just follow me there. I need followers because I don't have followers because I don't like social media because I don't really like people like that. But I love y'all that's watching, so I love you. <laughs> and follow me. I need followers because I don't have enough followers. And, and yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, we like y'all, but we don't like y'all. <laughs> but man, it's your boy DJ Three Stacks, and I'm here with Omar. Omar Moore. Uh, hey, you know, I swear I was gonna say your last name this day. I said, I said I'm gonna trick him with that. I'm gonna see when he say Omar, I'm gonna say more. But it's your boy DJ Three Stacks, and we here with director and own school opener Omar Moore. God damn it, I'm getting my goddamn diploma, mom. So quit talking crazy to me. Parole also, you can throw that GED away. I'm coming with it, man. It's your boy DJ Three Stacks, man. Mr. Omar Moore. We signing out, man. This is Omar Moore, director and serial entrepreneur, and you're watching Urban Grind TV. Peace, y'all. It is your home girl, your soul sister, the queen of the ghetto gospel, Johnny Dimitri. We are here on another episode of Urban Grind TV. And look, y'all, we fresh off the holiday weekend. Thanksgiving weekend just went by. And I don't know about y'all, but I am still full as hell. Look, I, I know we had to get back to work, though. So I'm here. I don't know about y'all, but I'm here. And to the right of me, there is always a very, very, very special guest. And this week is no different. We got Miss Shantae Brene. And can you tell the people who you are and what you do? Yes. My name is Shantae Brene, and I'm an actress from Chicago. Actress from Chicago. Okay, so how long have you been in the industry? How long have you been acting? Now it has to been about four, a little bit over four years. Oh, so you kind of new to it. It's something... Okay, so what in your adulthood brought you into acting? Oh, you know, honestly, I would have to say acting found me. I was initially into being a media personality, and somehow I got into acting, and it's just been takeoff since then. So was it like um, somebody invited you to be in a movie, or how did you, like, start doing it? You know what? Uh, they have this uh, thing called background acting where you start off kind of before you get into acting and you work with all of the different Hollywood companies uh, within within the Chicago yeah so it's like doing background for shows like Chicago PD and Chicago Fire and things yeah I have a friend yeah I have a friend shout out to Tila Tila Breezy she actually does that she's core background for I think Chicago PD now so are you still doing things like that no, that's where I started off. I started off as um, as the same thing as um, you said the word core <laughs> for Empire. Okay, so what exactly are you into now? What can you tell the people you're doing right now? What's coming up? Well, since then I've drifted off. I am sh solely into into being a lead character. Okay. So I find that the market is more open when I leave outside of Chicago. Chicago is a very competitive uh, network when it comes to acting. So. Right now, I got a lot of projects coming out, 2023. 
Okay, okay. So where have you found your most success? I know you say you left Chicago. Where did you find success the most? Oh, Chicago. Chicago put me on the map. I would have to pay homage to directors like Milan Parker and directors like um, Billy Ray Valentine, Will Adams, uh, Maurice Ellaby Jones, uh, Jim Jeremiah Balf uh, Balfour. So that's a lot of people. That's a lot of people. So obviously you got in four years, you got a lot under your belt. How did you how did you find your way into lead roles so soon? Oh, man, I am a big person or I, I, I'm a stickler for consistency. So I took every role that came across my desk, no matter how big or small it was. And a lot of times I started off with no lines at all. But I would study the lead characters in every film because I aspired to have one of those roles. And then eventually I just took a, a, I stepped out on faith and decided to see where it could take me, got an opportunity. Because a lot of times people don't even know that you could be a lead character until you're given that first lead role. And so when they see you carry a film, then that's when it's like, oh wow, she actually has that it factor to lead a film. And, so she was made to be a star, y'all. Yeah. Look, the, the background was cool for a while. It got her in the door. She was made to be a star. So, look, tell the people what you have coming up in 2023. Oh, man. I uh, have a, a lot of movies coming out. One by Renee and Bobby Peoples. That's out of Las Vegas. It's called Diary of a Unicorn. Uh, another one will be called Vindictive. Vindictive oh. comes out next year as well. That's by Tyrone Jackson. And he's a director from New York, but the film was, uh, the movie was filmed in North Carolina. And I got two, uh, two movies coming out of Memphis as well, Tainted and Twisted Games. Man, it sounds like four for four. It sounds like she got a Wendy special going on, y'all. <laughs> sound like four great movies off the chain. So look, Shantae Renee, tell these people where they can find you, anywhere that they can find you, everywhere that they can find you. Well, you can find me on uh, Instagram at I am Shantae Renee. That's S H A N T A R E N E E, and on Facebook at Shantae Renee Smith. Y'all, go follow this lady. Look, she is the next Angela Bassett, and that's all I got to say. It's Johnny Dimitri, Urban Grind TV, and we are out. Peace. My name is Shantae Renee Smith, and we are watching Urban Grind TV. What about you know what about me? Been doing this since the age of 15. I've been on my own. Tell me what do I need? She make me cry. I'm going to make you bleed. Yeah, killers on the lurk and they on their way back. Feel like I'm uncomfortable without my stress. Should have told me you ready to behind my back. Should have told me you were in the game. But now it's a rap. Let's get it. Hit from the back so I know that she with it. I got a ball. Can't get knocked on my pivot. Pussy needs dress so you know I be dealing. She like when I touch it. She know I'm going to kill it. Took all my enemies. Know I'm going to drill them. All in her mouth. She be sharing a dental. The TV like Kendall, fire up the blush with the pole when I bend him. Block with the switch, see the light in my denim. If I gotta get him, then I gotta get him. Ain't missing no socks, so we watch what we send him. I'm popping your pill, now I feel like a million. Got it in my bag, so I might pop a perk. And if I. All right, right, let's get through these puss ass jokes and get out of here. Huh? <laughs> see, a creator's job is to be fearless and to express their truth through their art form. We are not responsible for your damn thing. It's okay for people to not agree with someone's artistry, and it's okay to be offended. At the end of the day, none of that shit's going to kill you. I promise. Thanks for clicking on the link. My name is Wally Locker III. I'm the executive producer of Urban Grind Television and author of Music Is My Business, a startup strategy guide to the music business. I've been in the industry for over 18 years, working with artists, entertainers, producers, record executives, and more. I put together a brand new strategy guide just for you on how to navigate the music business. I'm going to talk about your vision, about your commitments, about your dreams, building the supreme team, and more. Also, how to fund your business. So all you need you to do is hit the link below, put in your email address. We're going to send you the newsletter. We're going to give you some free bonus content, and you also got an exclusive offer. It's all free. Just click on the link below.
put in your email address and get in tune. It's Urban Grind TV. Music is my business. Let's go. When it's time to get groovy, baby, I'm rocking my toolie, baby. We in the mix, like a mulatto. They think I hit the lotto. I'm flipping them bricks. Play like a tick when I put on that shit. She gon' choose like a pick when I hop in the whip. You ain't first and you last. Like my first name is Rick. Might ride solo though, cause they be too fake. And my word is legit. Moves be fraudulent. Say what they don't mean. Like Uno, I skip. Pour up that ace and then take me a sip. I done been through some shit, but fuck the past. Gotta live for the nine, but I never forget. Never complain. Used to trap in the rain. I didn't do it for fame. I used to bang, so I came out that mud, but no dirt on my name, repeating the same, and want different results, that shit is insane, I switched the terrain, and I hopped on a plane, now my view didn't change, I be on go, so out of they reach, somewhere on the globe, if I drop a low, you can't pull up on me, need a flight or a boat, they take you for granted, till you disappear, now they praising the ghost, I get that bread, then I get that butter, now it's time for a toast, Tyler the DJ running back again, make sure your plug, throw them extras in, now tell a girl, grab another friend, we gon' have fun, but we play to win. Now tell the DJ, run it back again. Make sure your plug, throw them extras in. Now tell a girl, grab another friend. We gon' have fun, but we play to win. Now it's my time for real, I be thumbing through blues They think I signed a deal, it came out that pot Like I cooked up a meal, had the bag in the seals Taking them trips, loading up on the peas Got the flavors for real, if I get a meal I'ma free all my dogs, yeah we need that appeal Get on these beats, I'm a different beast And it feel like some cleats, I don't bark, I just bite You a dog, I'm a wolf, when it's time to show teeth Fuck all that clout, I be moving discreet I'm a leader like chief, not hard to find If you looking for me, drop a pin, we can meet Hope you can swim, we be flooding them blocks This shit could get deep, they gon' switch up Trying to jump Ship, knowing it's about to sink, stay over there. If it's where I declare, light it up like a flare. Yeah, I be lit, they gon' stop and stare. See them kings over there, when you look around, you see that 360. I don't fuck with no squares. Light up that dope, kick your ass out the car. If you light up a square, stood ten toes, they gon' fall like a crease. Boy, how you a chair? How to win numb? Trap going dumb. Why the fuck would I care? DJ running back again. Make sure your plug, throw them extras in. Now tell a girl, grab another friend. We gon' have fun, but we play to win. Now tell a DJ, run it back again. Make sure your plug, throw them extras in. Now tell a girl, grab another friend. We gon' have fun, but we play to win. Yo, what's the word? It's SMG Zello, aka Thou Boy Zello, the talk a lot artist, man. In the beginning, it was hard for me to get exclusives and to get promo for my music. But guess what? UGTV has that, man. Call the number below and they will help you out, man. It was the best thing I did for myself.
What's wrong, Earl? I'm just trying to show you a little love. Fuck you! And I finally know who I am. y'all it's your home girl your soul sister the queen of the ghetto gospel johnny dimitri we live here at urban grind tv urban grind radio and your home girl been blessed with a brand new segment on the show called johnny's top five so all of my music friends my music family if you got some new music that you want to promote old music that you feel like needed a little bit more love or even an exclusive send it to me at radio at urban grind tv.com and we gonna get you some shine and whoever reaches number one on the top five get a chance to come in and interview with your girl so sing your music in now i am expecting you see you peace this is nephew uni and you are watching urban grind tv i'm here with my guy right here his name is edward ark uh he's going to tell you a little bit about some of the business that he does and what he got going on tell us something. uh my name is edward ark edward ark custom tees um i was recently in rivolts mall for like nine years and uh we had a, a store located in there where we did custom t-shirts we build brands we actually help everybody that um, didn't understand where to put their brand to actually put their brand to whereby it actually look better in public. So, so as well as branding, you're also doing uh, other things as well. Um, yeah. Like you, you told me something about soap. Yeah, uh, we got a soap brand out for people that have sensitive skin. So what it is is that the soap that we have, we experiment with actually. People that's dealing with only sensitive skin because there's a lot of people that have bad diets and the bad diets goes with messing with their skin. So right now we're trying to correct the skin and also give them advice about their diets as well. With fresh herbs and stuff like fresh that. Fresh herbs. It's like cetera. something like Dr. CV or something it or am I going off track? No, no, no. You're on track. You're on track, but we're not that deep. Right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so we were actually trying to put it into like Pete's. We got Target. We already on Walmart site already. As far as the tumor soap that we're doing right now, so we have like seven other soaps coming out within the next five months. So an entrepreneur of all kinds. Trick of all trades. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you got to get it done. So, so uh, uh, the, the t-shirt company, you mm -hmm. recently, you just said you were in the mall. Yes. And uh, so now you're going digital though, so because you. Yes that's the way the world is going now mm -hmm. but um yeah. so tell us a little bit about the digital are you gonna am i gonna be able to like completely control my digital uh, output or yes how, is this gonna how it goes is that you actually uh send us an email on what you want okay. and then you actually pay by the link we send you and then we can either ship it or you can do a pickup so what it was in a mall you could just come in once and you would tell us what you want then you have to waste your gas and come in twice you don't have to do that no more. You just do everything by email, by digital. You do a pickup. We do a ship. All belong to you. So, I, and I, and unless you get a mock up, of yes, you do a mock up or something else. So, what we're doing also is that we got like the octopus of premium we're doing. So, we're doing DTL premium, DTG premium, sublimation premium. We're doing banner premium, and we're giving out advice for free. Nice, nice. You wanna get hooked up with somebody that could get your brand up and get your uh logos going yeah. and everything like that uh hook up with the guy you know his name uh, i'm gonna uh basically just give yourself 
Tell, tell them like Facebook or Instagram. Oh, we got Instagram. Edward Art is A R K. Edward A R K. We located in uh, Madison, uh, two hundred three Crawford Street, right across from the hospital. Um, and we actually uh, we give we giving you free advice on how to take advantage of a lot of things that a lot of brands is not telling you. And we're telling you where to get your T-shirts from, where to actually get them for like be below cost and how much it costs you when it comes to like one T-shirt and what it can be for uh, retail right. after getting the print. Okay, and you're also doing embroidery or is no? We're not doing embroidery. It? That's too much work. We want the easy part. <laughs> want the easy one. Seventeen years in the business, okay. I just rather do it easy. I just seen it on your shirt. I yeah. have to ask. Yeah, this is the actual uh, logo that I did. It's called Business Never Personal. A lot of people in business is actually be wrapped up in their emotions. So this is one of you you see this logo right here? Turn your emotions down. Okay. And that's part of your class as well. One of our brands. Yeah. Okay. All right. Hey. It's UGTV. You heard it from the man Edward Ark yourself. Um, Go get yourself some uh, networking gear and uh, get out there. Get up with me, man. I'm going to make it right for you. Make it right. UGTV. I'm Matthew. This is Edward Art coming live from you from Urban Grand TV. Watch us. Yo, what's up, y'all? You are watching Urban Grind TV, Urban Grind Radio. I'm Treasure Nicole, your favorite Scorpio. And listen, we got a special guest in the building tonight. We got Robin E. What's up, Robin? What's up? What's up? How you feeling? I'm good. How you doing? I'm doing good. So happy to be here. I'm excited. So tell us, like, what brings you here? What brings you to Urban Grind TV? Man, I want to, you know, chop it up with you, chop it up with the girls, you know, get to some some good topics and just share some ideas for sure. Now, Robin, we know you you like the Midwest queen. To me, you one of the queens of the Midwest when it comes to your, your blogging. Your own, you have your own podcast as well. So, and man, tell us about that. Yes, absolutely. Pillow Talk Podcast, one of the hottest podcasts in the Midwest. Definitely check that out. Um, aspiring to inspire. So just want to push, you know, critical thinking by all means. And then, yeah, blogging, just all media. You know what I'm saying? I write for different uh, publications. I do some branding strategy. I'm just doing everything. So, you know. And, like, I'm trying to figure out, like, what got you started in doing that? Because I know everybody always goes to singing or rapping or dancing but you decide to get really in the detail of the industry when it comes to like you say the blogging and even writing publications so what got you interested in that man the talk show era you know i grew up watching ricky lake and jenny jones and montel and that's really what kind of planted the seed just me wanting to interview people talk to people and then um i went to school for journalism so writing has just always been like a natural love for myself and i just wanted to elaborate on that figure out how to monetize that and here we are so and, and you're in the right place, right? Because if you write about artists or the hottest artists, you know, in the building, not only do you got me, but you got Johnny Dimitri, the queen of ghetto gospel in the building, man. You got, it's just a lot of like different crazy energy. So, man, you know, we're going to talk to you more on radio, but tell the people what you got coming up. Like, what's next for Robin e? Man, Pillow Talk Season 4 is here. It's live in effect. You know what I'm saying? We were back on the air February 14th. So just want to bring some new things to the you know podcast scene. Of course, I still have the branding going on, blogging. And Pillow Talk is pulling up on location, okay? So make sure y'all tap in with me and see me pull up at all of the hottest spots all year into the summer. It's lit. And we got the rotation playlist. So, you know, artists tap in if you want to get some, some plays on your music. And it's crazy, right? Because this ain't the first time me and you have crossed paths have been in the same arena. We, you done hosted some shows I've been in. I've been on your podcast, which was one of the best. When she say, when you say it's one of the best podcasts, you ain't capping. So, man, Robin, tell the people where they can find you. Yes, y'all can tap in with me on Facebook, of course, at Pillow Talk Podcast and Instagram at Robin E93, Twitter E93. And just subscribe to Pillow Talk Podcast, streaming on all major platforms. And listen, y'all heard her. She on season four. So y'all got to go all the way back to season one and just binge. Just watch everything. And, uh, man, Robin, we great. We are grateful to have you. And we're going to catch you on the other side because you're going to be on UGTV. Girl, talk, and you're just going to be talking to us. That's going to be so much fun. All right, y'all. Y'all know it's Treasure Nicole, your favorite Scorpio. We out. What's up, y'all? Robin E. Checking in for Urban Grind TV. Make sure y'all tune in with me at Pillow Talk Podcast, streaming on all major platforms.
Peace, y'all. It's your home girl, your soul sister, the queen of the ghetto gospel, Johnny Dimitri. And we are on another episode of Urban Grind TV. It's Wednesday. Another crazy week, another crazy weekend, but we're back here so you know it's Wednesday and you know we on Urban Grind TV. Obviously, we got a very special guest, Mr. Brandon, BTR, Born Too Real. Y'all know I'm not into introductions at all, so I'm going to let him introduce himself, but I'm trying to get all up in your business. What's up? What's good? How you doing? How you doing? So tell the people a little bit about who you are, what you do, why you here today. Well, I go by BTR, Born Too Real. Um, I'm an artist. I'm out of... Troy, North Carolina, small town. Nobody's heard of it, but I'm. That's why I'm here, you know. So For people sure. can get some light on that city. But um, you know, I'm here just to you know push the movement. Um, independent artists been doing my thing for a few years now. So uh, just new music and everything that's going on. So just here to push the movement. For sure, you said Troy, North Carolina. So how do you feel being in Chicago right now? Well, first time. Uh, First time? Definitely breaking the ice right now. For sure, for sure. <laughs> but, uh, good city, though. You know, everybody know kind of how s Chicago is put out there yeah. to the world, but uh, I like it. Most definitely, most definitely. So I want to get into your name, Born Too Real. Can you tell me a bit about how you got that name in your artistry? Well, um, my friends actually gave me the name, but Born Too Real, it just... I'm a realist, you know, like the music that I that I present is more, you know, just real music about my life and stuff like that. So no fabricated. Um, so that's really how I got my name. It was given to me. Um, I didn't make it up for myself. It was given to me. So when it comes down to the realism of your music, obviously you say you're a realist. So I can I can just infer that your music is real as well. Right? Definitely. So what makes it so real though? What about you? What do you put into your music to make it real for you and make it real for the world? So um, I talk, you know, what's going on in my community, um, the things that I've witnessed and experienced. So I would say that alone speaks for itself. And I mean, there's other people in other cities that's probably got the same issues. So, you know, it's just something that everybody can relate to. For sure. And I, I'm just really loving how you repping your city right now. As you say, Chicago gets a lot of flack for being dangerous and being all kind of crazy, you know, but I represent Chicago because I'm, that's my city, you know, so I love how you represent your city right now. Can you tell me what's the difference in your city's hip hop, North Carolina's hip hop versus, you know, mainstream? Well, it's the South, so you, you get more, uh, how could I say it? More uh, up, up tempo, you know what I'm saying? Um, more dance music, stuff like that. So it's not really like too crazy. But um, the thing about my city, like we have a variety of artists, but a lot of people try to mimic like Atlanta sound and stuff like that. So we really don't have our own stitch in North Carolina. That's the, that's the crazy thing. We really don't have our own stitch. You stitching it right. You stitching. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Shout out to Atlanta. Atlanta's killing. Shout out to Atlanta. But when it comes down to North Carolina, I like your swag. It just feel like you got some good energy about you, and you real about your artistry. So I definitely appreciate the conversation right now. Another question that I want to ask you is basically, how did you get started doing music, and what keeps you going doing music? All right. So crazy story. I got started. Me and one of my friends, we were in uh, we were in a course together, Intro to New Testament, right? So um, just freestyling, that was just something normal that for us to do. Like, it's really not much to do in my city. So playing ball, freestyling. We were freestyling, and then, like, just so happened he heard some of my music, and he hit me and was like, yo, let's create a song together. So from there, like, started making music. Yeah. And what kept me going is, like, um, I just feel like I got a story to tell, too. You know, so that's really it. Most definitely. Well, look, I don't want to take up too much time because, you know, we got to do radio and I'm going to get all the way up in your business right there. So, look, tell the people what you got coming up and where they can find you. All right. So uh, up and coming. I got a couple projects I'm, I'm kind of holding off on, but <laughs> they coming. Um, but you can find me Spotify, uh, BTR, Instagram, Born to Real, all platforms, uh, Born to Real. You can find me. I'm there. Now, look, man. I know that you know that I was serious about getting in your business. 
So you going to have to give us a little bit more than just they coming. Like, you, is it a single? Is it a take? Come on, tell me something. Now. Yeah, yeah. You you know, you got to stick around. I got a single I'm going to play for y'all here lately. And I'm in shortly. So, uh, yeah, just stick around for that. Uh, but so many, like, I don't even, I can't even put them out there. It's just, like, so many. But, uh, yeah, be ready for it. All right, for sure. Well, once again, it's your homegirl, your soul sister, your favorite cousin, the queen of the ghetto gospel, Johnny Dimitri. It's another episode of Urban Grind TV. It's my boy, BTI, and we are out. Peace. Yo, what's going on? It's Born Too Real here live at Urban Grind TV. What about you? Know what about me? Been doing this since the age of 15. I've been on my own. Tell me what do I need? She make me cry. See the light in my denim If I gotta get them Then I gotta get them Ain't missing no socks So we watch what we send them I'm popping your pill Now I feel like a million Got it in my bag So I might pop a perk And if I All right, right Let's get through these Puss ass jokes And get out of here all right? <laughs> See a creator's job Is to be fearless And to express their truth Through their art form we are not responsible for your damn thing. It's okay for people to not agree with someone's artistry, and it's okay to be offended. At the end of the day, none of that shit's going to kill you. I promise. Thanks for clicking on the link. My name is Wally Locker III. I'm the executive producer of Urban Grind Television and author of Music Is My Business, a startup strategy guide to the music business. I've been in the industry for over 18 years, working with artists, entertainers, producers, record executives, and more. I put together a brand new strategy guide just for you on how to navigate the music business. I'm going to talk about your vision, about your commitments, about your dreams, building the supreme team, and more. Also, how to fund your business. So all you need you to do is hit the link below, put in your email address. We're going to send you the newsletter. We're going to give you some free bonus content, and you also got an exclusive offer. It's all free. Just click on the link below, put in your email address, and get in tune. It's Urban Grind TV. Music is my business. Let's go. Covenant. You know the sum of it. We on the oven and 
and she's screaming out my government. She in the military calling me the general. I'm killing it. She called me cereal, feeding her vitamin D and other essential minerals. Offered to take her shopping, clubbing, hobnobbing. She want to take it back to the crib and get it popping. The clean kind of dirty. From 11 to 730 on the grind, horizontal getting sturdy. Her sexuality, her personality. Might have to wife her on a technicality. Face, body, gear. Hey, think cool. She want me to spit the nigga wife first in a cool. Yeah, she nasty. She a nasty bitch, but still classy. She been the rose and keep the low panty. So look at a friend, the Ori Versace. So you're a brother, your boy, that's why I'm taxing. She a nasty bitch, but still classy. She been the rose and keep the low panty. So look at a friend, the Ori Versace. So you're a brother, your boy, that's why I'm taxing. Yo, what's the word? It's SMG Zello, aka Thought Boy Zello, the Talk A Lot artist, man. In the beginning, it was hard for me to get exclusives and to get promo for my music. But guess what? UGTV has that, man. Call the number below and they will help you out, man. It was the best thing I did for myself. Finally know who I am. y'all it's your home girl your soul sister the queen of the ghetto gospel johnny dimitri we live here at urban grind tv urban grind radio and your home girl been blessed with a brand new segment on the show called johnny's top five so all of my music friends my music family if you got some new music that you want to promote old music that you feel like needed a little bit more love or even an exclusive send it to me at radio at urbangrindtv.com and we gonna get you some shine and whoever Whoever reaches number one on the top five, get a chance to come in and interview with your girl. So send your music in now. I am expecting you. See you. Peace. What it do, everybody? This is Urban Grind Radio, and I'm Stephanie Marie, your best friend. I'm here with the one and only Sinister from Sinister Music Group. Tell us about yourself, Sinister. Uh, I'm a record label owner, uh, Sinister Music Group, LLC, um, manager, uh, artist, among other things. <laughs> yeah, so if you're looking to get your music put on and you want to work with somebody great, he's got a lot, he's got a lot of experience and connections all over. 
I mean, tell us a little bit more on how you got started. I mean, when did you start hustling? When you start grinding? Uh, I've been hustling since I was like five years old. You know, I was doing little things, stealing candy. When I got older, I was like nine years old. I steal cigarettes from mom and some kids who smoke. <laughs> Damn. So you, oh, so you were selling candy and cigarettes at a young age just to start off, just to get your hustle on. And then from there, you got into poetry, right? You started writing music? Uh, yeah, I started writing poetry in uh, high school, actually, uh, for a brief moment. I lived in Indianapolis, Indiana uh, for my last year and a half of high school. So I needed more electives before I could graduate. So poetry is one of the classes they gave me, and I, I just excelled at it. Oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. So, I mean... Tell us about one of your biggest projects. Uh, one of my biggest projects, um, uh, Thought Boy Zello, uh, Talk A Lot. Uh, in fact, today, September 30th, he charted 60 on iTunes Music, Apple Music. Uh, he went straight up to number 30 for a brief moment. Yeah, number 30, dang. That's high in them charts. Talk A Lot, that's his first single out, correct? Uh, yes, that's uh, Thought Boy's first single, my uh, second video as Sinister Music goodness and it went far shout out to that boy zello <laughs> yep that's my that's my that's my little nephew my little brother my little counselor sometimes so you know we rock hard with each other. yeah it's all about family at the end of the day especially in this grind and in this industry yes i mean tell the fans where they can find you at how can they get in contact with you so you can make them a big star too uh you can uh check out my website sinistermusicgroup.com uh, there's a link to uh, email if you need to email me directly at sinistermusiclabel at gmail.com. Also, you can reach me on IG, Twitter, Facebook, Sinister Music Group, or Sinister Music on IG and uh, Twitter. Absolutely. You heard it here first, all right? Don't snooze. Get your music put on. Sinister Music Group. This was Urban Grind Radio. My name is Stephanie Marie, your best friend, and we'll holla at you later. Uh, this is your boy, Sinister the Entertainer, Sinister CEO, Mr. Sinister Music Group, man. You are list, you are watching Urban Grind TV. Yo, 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 it's your boy, DJ Three Stacks, man. And we here at another episode of Urban Grind TV, man. And I got a girl good for this. It's going to be a treat. A great one for y'all. This is going to be one for the books, man. So make sure y'all are everybody tuned in, man. I'm here with celebrity chef, comedian, artist, one and only Dirty Joes, man. And, hey, I got to say, fam, before we even got the interview rocking, man, like, I, hey, you got the place lit already, man. Yeah. It's, it's lit up in here. I see the cameras. I was blinded by the light. <laughs> hey, for y'all who don't know who Dirty Jones is, man, y'all finna find out today, man. So first off, man, like I said, you a man of many hats, man. You know what I mean? Not just the cowboy hats. You got the chef hat. Yeah, yeah. You got the comedian's hat. I'll put your foot down. Keep coming. You know, hey, I'm going to let you tell it, man. You know what I mean? Because, like, hey, I feel like, man, like, you got me lit already. You know what I mean? So, like, let the people know what you do, man, how you got into doing what you was doing, man. Much love, man. Shout out Urban Grind TV, Celebrity Chef Dirty Jones, you know, Mr. TikTok Famous. I cook for celebrities. I do music. You know, you know, you, you see the outfit. Oh, oh yeah. So, so you know a lot of my friends Mexican. So, <laughs> so I do, I do a little bit of construction too. Yeah. So yeah, I do it all, boss. Yeah. yeah. So man, hey, I want to talk to you about the comedian thing, man, cause like, dude, you you just came in and you lit you you lit you lit the house up already, man. You know what I mean? So with with the comedy, with the the artistry, with you with your cooking. Which one do you got the most passion from? Ah, cooking. Cause I, you know, I, you know, I choose cooking, so I can make you laugh while I cook. You know, mm -hmm. and this is what I like to do. So I don't even eat some of my food half the time. I don't even taste my food. I just make it and look at my people's reaction. Um, I'm cocky like that. I'm cooking since I was three, four years old. Hey, hey I like that. I like that. I'm, I'm being real with you. I ain't gonna lie to you. Hey, I'm with him here. There you go. Tell me what you think about it. You know, my homie, my homie out there, he'll tell you. I be, I know we'll go together. All make, the time, man. Sauces, making sauces, all type of sauces, all type of cuisine dishes, you know, exotic dishes. I do it all. So, you, I, I've looked on your Instagram page, Dirty underscore Jones, you know what I mean, or Dirty underscore Kitchen. You know, I seen you got a lot of celebrities on there that you cook for, man. 
you know, out of everyone you cook for, not just celebrities, man, who does you enjoy, like, preparing the meal for the most, man? Like, you know what? I'm going to whip this one up, man. You know what I mean? Just put that dirty on it. I'm Sir J. Prince Jr. Okay. Uh, Sway, okay. Sway Lee. Uh, oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, Asian Brat was pretty cool, you know. Uh, Jacquees. He really cool too. He really cool dude. Sway, oh, okay. Sway, Sway Lee was really cool though. You right. know, you know Sway Lee because you know he was really cool. A lot of people didn't want me to get close to him, and he like, nah, this is the chef. You know, like mm-hmm. I'm just trying to see him taste my food, and you know he tastes my food. Jay Prince tastes my food. Wow, Jay Prince. Yeah, that dude. He's something else. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You say Jay Prince. It's not easy. It's not easy to, to, to impress that guy, you know. All the time. Yeah. And, oh, and for for him to give me, you know, some, you know, what I'm saying, good, good, good. No, not good advice. Uh, how you say it? Give him, give me some good you feedback. Know, feedback. Exactly. It was, it was, it was high in my book. Tell you all the time, man. Like, it, it, it's definitely, you know, what I mean, a big us, man. When you get. You know, people on that level, man, who you know probably got a thousand people trying to cook for him. He look at you and say, hey, that man right there threw down. Correct, correct. Most definitely, most definitely. So now with the comedy, man, because, like, hey, I'm going to be one of you. You you lit with the comedy. You know what I mean? Even your your skits, even everything you got on, like, it's just lit, man. You know, It's like, like I heard someone say earlier, like, it's just natural to me. You know what I mean? So, like, when it comes to the comedy, man, when did you just get a knock? Like, you know what? I think I could do something with this, man. I was born funny. All the time. Yeah, I just tickle people with no fingers all the time. <laughs> Hold on, you gotta say that again. That might have went over a lot of people head. <laughs> I said I just tickle people with no fingers all the time. I yes, do. sir. That's what I do. I, I know. I don't, I don't. I don't plan this. I don't write my jokes down. It's just natural. I don't write my jokes down. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's just natural, you know. And I, I go through a lot. You don't know what somebody going through. And the next person, you don't know what they going through. So if I can make you laugh and, and if I can get by through my day, you know, that's what I'm going to do, you know. Tomorrow ain't promise. I probably save somebody from killing themselves. You know? All the time, all the time. That's how I mean. For people who don't know, man, because I, they, they, I see you in your attire, man. You got the boots, man. Which them boots cost a lot of money, y'all. You know what I mean? Like, real talk. Them, them, them hitters, man. Them hitters. I don't roll horses. I was just finna get to that. You out as least you rode you ride horses for real, real life, for real. No, I've seen that's what I'm telling you. He ride for real, real. This is not a gimmick. Y'all think we ain't got ranches in Illinois. We got thousand ranches in Illinois. I'm talking about I hit the side of his stomach. <laughs> you hit you, you hit him. Yeah. <laughs> no homo. <laughs> one day I pulled him so back, I pulled him back one day. I got scared. I was in the middle of nowhere. They told me, go and take him outside. Take him, take him out in the field. I thought I, I, thought I was doing something. I'm... <laughs> so he told me, don't pull him too hard. I got scared. He's going too fast. I was going to fall off of him. And all I can see him, all, all I can see in my head is him. Mm-hmm. On Timmy. So I said, I pulled him too hard. I pulled the nigga. He stopped. He ain't gonna go nowhere. I kicked him. He said, He kicked me again. Kick me again. <laughs> he looked at me like, I said, Oh, no. I got my phone real quick. I said, You know what? I'm stuck. Come get the whore. <laughs> oh, you put a bad boy like a bad cop. <laughs> Like, it's like, it like a, uh, one of them, uh, the Mexican cowboy movies, you know what I'm saying? They, they came, it was like 16 of them coming on, coming on the horse. They was coming for me. I was scared, stuck out there. They saved me. That was crazy, though. So, I, I got to ask you, do you have, do you own a horse, or do you plan on getting your own horse in the future? Yeah, if I got somebody right there that, that's with me. I ain't riding by myself. Well, hey, you definitely can't tell from your videos, man, because you rode the hell up, pulled right up on the horse with the body. And if, you, and if you watch the video, I was about 16 feet away. <laughs> <laughs> you see me coming. You, they was right there. They was in eyesight. Mm-hmm. Don't never see me in the field by myself no more with that big horse. Oh, wow. <laughs> they don't listen. So that, I, I, also, for the people who know, you also are an artist, man. 
You know what I mean? So I want to, you know, tell a little people a little bit about the music, the music you do and everything, you know. You, you, you cold. You remember everything. Hey, you got to get the people what they want, man. Yeah, I do music too, you know. I got I got, got a lot of music out, you know. Got millions of views. I'm on uh, Apple Music, Spotify, Live Mixtapes, That Piff, YouTube, of course. You know, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm coming back. I'm coming back in the music industry. You know what I'm saying? I got, I got a big fan base. Big oh, fan base. And I, I can't preach it more than ever. When you do good, good come to you. You know what I'm saying? You stay that's positive. Up. You stay around that's positive up. people. You know what I'm saying? You're going to get there. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I do. You know, I got a big supportive team. So I'm, I'm in my prime right now. Yes, sir. The lights on me right now. You see what's going on? Oh, man, this light's hot as hell. <laughs> Urban Ground right. TV. Shout out Stephanie. She, she looked out for me. You know what I'm saying? My boy CB in the cut, man. You know? Yes, sir. Yeah, we we outside. You know? Definitely got to shout the team out, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Appreciate also, it. with the team, man, to everyone who's watching, man, who's trying to get to know Dirty Jones and follow Dirty Jones, man, could you please let them know where to follow you at on social media, your Instagram, your Facebook, everything, just how to stay in tune with you and what you may have upcoming that they can just, you know, follow and stay with you. Take my number down. 224. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Now I'm just talk. Y'all want my number? <laughs> if I did give it out, I'm gonna tell you something. If I did get my number out, it's on my Instagram. So you gonna if you wanna book me for a meal, you know, you could you could do that. Yeah. Yes, sir. Two two four. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, my Instagram, I got two pages. Yes, sir. You can see what I do and who I cook for. My content on my uh, regular page. That's dirty underscore Jones. That's D U R T Y underscore Jones. And my food page is Dirty's Kitchen. That's D U R T Y S Kitchen, all in one. Dirty's Kitchen. You can see my food on there. And you contact me on that too if you really want to see my number. So yeah, I'll take them all down. <laughs> so hey man, it's your boy DJ Three Stacks, man. Great interview with my man here, Dirty Jones, man. And it's dirty with a U, not the I. You know what I mean? With the U, man, not the I. You know what I mean? We ain't dirty, goddamn it. We we wash our ass. You know how to be. <laughs> and, and I wash my hands. I'm the cleanest cook in America. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I ain't got to say the other country. You know I'm the cleanest. <laughs> <laughs> Your boy, Three Stacks, Dirty Jones, man. Urban Grind TV, man. We out. <laughs> you already know what it is. Celebrity Chef Dirty Jones. You watching Urban Grind TV.